Okay, so moving on to semi-ripe cuttings now. Obviously, this is the wrong time of year for these, so it's difficult to find plant material. We're just going to have to pretend, but these are done. Um, ju July, August, September is the ideal time. And semi-ripe cuttings are longer. So they can be um, usually 10 to 15 centimetres long. So, yeah. Okay, so they're that long, between 10 and 15 centimetres long, a little bit longer. Rosemary cuttings do really well from semi-ripe cuttings in autumn. They're a good one to try, really reliable. So in our named example, we have buddleia. Buddley can be done anyway. So uh, I have a, a dwarf buddleia. It's a gorgeous purple one, but I can't remember the cultivar name. So I'm calling it buddleia dividii purple. Um, I did collect it this morning, got a couple of pieces in my bag, which I put in the fridge. She lied. Okay, so there's my cutting material. You can see the top is really soft, but actually the, the, that base there is quite firm, it is quite ripe. Um, so not bad semi-ripe. And the same for this piece here. The top is really soft, but the bottom is quite ripe because Buddleia does have some overwintering leaves, you know, so that bottom bit is quite old. So I'm going to take a cutting of this Buddleia. Um, actually, I'm going to do it with this one. It's just that little bit longer. Remember, Buddleia, sorry, semi-ripe should be a little bit longer than our softwood. OK, so I can just pull that off. It doesn't matter about our mother plant here, does it? When I took it off the plant, the original plant I cut above a node off the mother plant. Okay so here's our cutting material. First of all we cut, where's my knife, okay, we cut just below a node. Okay so just below our node here and then we are going to remove the bottom leaves with our knife. Okay making care, making sure not to damage the stem again. That's a, not wanting to come off. Okay, so every plant's different how many leaves you remove. You know, people say leave four leaves for this, three leaves for that, just two leaves for some of them. You kind of you just have to really have a go and see what works. Whenever I do new cuttings of something new, I do a few variations to see what works best. I know for Buddleia that four leaves is usually fine. And then I normally, like we did with the fuchsia, cut the largest leaves in half just to reduce the surface area. Oh gosh, those haven't cut well at all. Okay, I'm just, oh dear. Buddleia leaves must be a bit uh, tougher than I thought. A bit of a very raggedy cut because obviously my knife was not sharp enough. Okay, so you get the idea. There's my Buddleia cutting. Soft at the top and um, hard at the base. That's our semi-ripe cutting. We definitely always use hormone rooting powder for semi-ripe cuttings. You know, they're not in as much active growth, so they need that little bit of extra hormone, auxin, um, which is in here, it's a synthetic hormone, but it mimics a natural hormone in plants. So we dip the base of our cutting. Actually, we've got a few nodes are quite close together at the base. So I'm just making sure all of those nodes are coated. Okay, like so. We do exactly the same as we did for our um, softwood cuttings using a dibber to make our pilot hole basically and then firming in with two fingers and then we would carry on going around water it in to settle the compost and then uh, if it was semi-ripe this would be fine um, in a cold frame just to give it that little bit of protection um, and uh, humidity if the lid is over. You can also put them in a unheated propagator or a heated propagator. Um, basically, you don't want them to get too hot again, just like your soft tip. 
um, but they don't they don't need that extra heat they're a lot slower to root than your softwood um, and less likely to wilt as easily because you've got some tougher wood in there so um, other plants you can do with semi-ripe you can do your fuchsia we could do those a bit later on in the season when we've got harder growth um, dogwood is another one a lot of shrubs are done as semi-ripe cuttings um, yep, so that is your semi-ripe cutting.